What's good, pirates? We've got a lot of news for you. Aboard the ship, ready to go, this is our crew. We've got the scoop, and we'll deliver it to you. The latest news. Here's what's good. Welcome to What's Good, my name is Noah. And I'm Mercedes, and today for lunch we'll be having breakfast sandwiches with roasted potatoes, fresh salad bar nachos, and in the pizza line you can purchase sweet and sour chicken with noodles. Alright, congratulations to the freshman Katie Hagedorn who qualified for the state solo contest in the Soprano Division. Katie will travel to Central Washington University on Saturday, April 28th to compete at the state level. So way to go, Katie. Woo! Well done. Also, congratulations to Rose and Tasia, who have qualified in regional gymnastics. They will be heading to Samish High School in Bellevue this Saturday. Good luck, girls! And congratulations to the Rogers wrestling team, who had 13 of 22 wrestlers finish in the top four this past weekend. Good luck to the boys who can guarantee their trip to the state wrestling championships in Tacoma by finishing in the top four in their weight classes this Saturday in our very own gym. Way Woo! to go, guys! Uh, lots of great students representing. So do you want to represent? Have you never been in a sport? Don't really run much? Well, that's okay, because track is the best place for you to get started. Girls track and field preseason meeting will be Thursday, February 8th at 2.35 p.m. in Coach Baker's room in N161. Also, boys track and field preseason meeting will be Friday, February 9th at 2.35 in Coach Palmer's room R207. So do not miss out on that. All right, and baseball players, there will be a short mandatory baseball meeting Wednesday, February 7th in the library right after school, so make sure you make it to that. Also, more information about sports, Fast pitch softball players. All girls interested in playing fast pitch softball, there will be a spring meeting that will be very, very brief tomorrow, February 7th, after school in 245 in the comments. See Coach Cofield or Bowerman if you cannot make it. All right, and spring sports physicals will be available for $10 on Monday, February 12th in the comments. Please come to the business office to reserve and pay for your spot. If you're unsure if you have if your physical is good still, please stop by the business office to check so you can take advantage of the spring physicals. This is the last sports physical of the school year, so make sure you make it to that if you need to. Also, attention all Skill USA members. Your mandatory chapter monthly meeting will be held tomorrow at February 7th, 2.45 p.m. in N104. All members need to attend this as we make plans for state competitions organize breakout sessions and coming weeks prior to state. All right, and don't miss Drama's production of Fiddler on the Roof. Show dates are February 23rd, 24th, March 2nd and 3rd, all at 7 p.m. Also, on March 3rd, there's gonna be a 2 p.m. matinee. Uh, the ticket prices are $8 for adults and $6 for students and seniors. Bring a friend and don't miss out on this amazing production the Rogers Drama team has been working so hard on. Also, students, if you're interested in science, then you should attend Let's do some Science Day open house at SEC on February 24th, which is a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you're interested in attending, please see Ms. Pemberton. All right, and do you need a summer job? If so, students who are at least 14 years of age should apply for the Ecology Youth Corps summer program. Pay, the pay is $11.50, uh, working Monday through Thursday. If you are interested in applying, see Ms. Pemberton in the Career Center. Also, students, if you're interested in becoming a police officer, you are invited to train with the Spokane Police Department through their annual Citizens Academy. If you would like to register, please see Ms. Pemberton as well. And we are now off to sports. Off to sports. What's up, guys? Welcome back to What's Good Sports. I'm Nick. And I'm Jackie. And first off today, what do we have going on, Jackie? We got a Mighty Pirates game at LC. Yes, so we do. that's pretty cool. And then tomorrow, we actually have the Mighty Pirates Spirit game that's right here at home at 3 o'clock versus Shadle. Be here. Um, first 100 people are free, so you know, make sure you got to participate in that. Yeah, because free is good. Yes. Sir. And we have two meetings if you want to be in track. We got a meeting for girls on Thursday in Baker's room, and we have the boys meeting on Friday in R207. They both start at 245, so if you want to do track and all that fun stuff, make sure you're at those meetings. And finally today, 
Uh, we have an, an announcement from Mr. Moffitt. Um, if you want to be in tennis or you're interested whatsoever, we have a short meeting in N253 right after school on Thursday. So be there. Uh, tennis is a great sport and might as well. Anyways, this has been What's Good Sports. Back to the news. Sophomores and juniors interested in Running Start for next year, please attend the Running Start informational meeting with your family on February 12th at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Representatives from EWU, SFCC, and SCC will be present. Please see Mrs. Law if you have any questions about that. Also, seniors, there will be a senior class meeting this Thursday, February 8th, during row at 8.50 a.m., so please do not miss it. It will be in the auditorium. All right, and it's that time of the year, so start thinking about your purchasing your grad night tickets. This awesome event takes place the evening of the day you graduate. It starts at 9 p.m. on June 9th and ends at 4 a.m. on June 10th. Tickets are $20 and will be on sale during second lunch on advisory day starting this Thursday at the entrance of the Commons, so make sure you get those tickets. Also, Valentine's Day is coming up, and nothing will get your special person's attention like a sweetheart mocha. Get yours at Pirate's Perk for only $2.25. Okay, attention students, there will no longer be any personal basketballs, baseballs, volleyballs, footballs, or anything else that you can be throwing in the lunch time while you're in the gym. These items will be confiscated and delivered to the student office, so make sure you're not using those because you don't want to get them taken away. Also, students, if you arrive to school after 8 a.m. and need breakfast, you must, go, you must go purchase it in the Grab and Go by the front of the doors. The Grab and Go is only open until 8.15, sadly, and the cafeteria slash commons is closed after 8 a.m. Okay, also students, being late to class causes a disruption to your education and the education of others. Beginning today, if you are late, a staff member will be conferencing with you in the hall, writing your name down to contact your parents about your tardiness to class, so stay on time. Yeah, make sure you don't do that. And last but not least, congratulations to Sarah Carroll for being selected to receive free lunch courtesy of the Lunch Bunch. You are awesome, Miss Carroll. Way to go. And Mighty Pirate Spirit Pack should be in today starting at lunch. Please come by the store to pick up your pack if you pre-ordered it. We cannot give anyone their shirt or packs until you have paid in full. We did purchase a few extra in all sizes except smalls, so you can still get one. Just bring $12 to the ASB store at lunch today or tomorrow. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.